On September 11, 2025, an event occurred that would have remained news only for a small circle of astronomy enthusiasts, if not for one detail. The new celestial body was quickly nicknamed Comet Swan R2 and began to be discussed not only in scientific circles, but across the Internet, where rumors always outrun facts. Russian astronomer Vladimir Bazugli noticed something unusual in the data from the SWAN instrument on board the SOHO Observatory. In the bright scatter of points on a digital image, a characteristic streak stood out, gas and dust expelled by a comet's nucleus. That's how humanity learned of C-2025R2, SWAN. Immediately after the discovery, astronomers confirmed this is a long-period comet arriving from the distant regions of the solar system. Its orbit is stretched almost to the limit, with an eccentricity of about 0.999, essentially a parabolic path. Such an object visits the inner solar system only once every tens of thousands of years. For SWAN R2, calculations show a period of roughly 22,500 years. Imagine. The last time this comet passed perihelion, humans still lived in the Paleolithic, and mammoths freely roamed across Eurasia. At first glance, everything sounds calm. Another beautiful comet to decorate the autumn sky may be visible in binoculars. But attention toward Swan R2 skyrocketed when, in the same months, another object was announced, 3i slash Atlas an interstellar comet that drifted into our system from the depths of the galaxy. The Internet quickly produced sensational headlines, Swan R2 is 100 times bigger than Atlas. It could destroy the interstellar. Two comets may collide. To sort truth from hype, we need to compare them directly. 3i slash Atlas was discovered on July 1, 2025, by the Atlas system in Chile. The letter I in its name stands for interstellar. This is only the third such object ever detected, after Oumuamua and Comet Borisov. Its orbit is hyperbolic. It dives in, passes near the sun, and then leaves forever. No gravitational bond holds it here. Its speed is enormous, about 60 kilometers per second, or over 200,000 kilometers per hour. The size of Atlas's nucleus was estimated with the Hubble Space Telescope. The figures still carry uncertainties, but the range is known, between approximately 320 meters and approximately 5.6 kilometers in diameter. The upper limit, 5 to 6 kilometers, makes it a serious object, comparable to the larger comets bound to the solar system. But let's be clear, Atlas will not come closer than 1.8 astronomical units, approximately 270 million kilometers from Earth. In other words, zero threat. Swan R2's trajectory is just as fascinating. Its perihelion occurred on September 12, 2025, at a distance of 0.5 astronomical units from the Sun. Its minimum approach to Earth will be around October 20th only 0.26 astronomical units, or about 39 million kilometers. By cosmic standards, that's closer than Atlas, but still almost a hundred times farther than the Moon. In terms of brightness, Swan R2 may actually outshine Atlas. Its current magnitude is about plus 6.5, already visible in good binoculars. There's a chance its tail will brighten enough to be spotted with the naked eye. Atlas, in contrast, will remain a faint telescopic object. And here's where the source of the hype appears. Someone reasoned, if Atlas's maximum size is 5 kilometers and Swan R2 looks brighter, then Swan must be 100 times bigger. In reality, brightness doesn't depend solely on the nucleus size. It also depends on activity, how much gas and dust are evaporating, and the reflectivity of the material. Swan nucleus has not yet been measured. It might even be smaller than Atlas's, just far more active. Why Swan R2 Attracts Attention The comet deserves attention simply because its path visually feels closer. That 0.26 astronomical unit distance sounds dramatic, but it is still tens of millions of kilometers away. Even the so-called Mio Ai, 
The minimum orbital intersection distance, which for SWAN is 0.048 astronomical units, approximately 7 million kilometers, doesn't mean collision. MOID is just a geometric calculation. For an actual impact, Earth and the comet must be at that intersection at the exact same time. Calculations show they won't be. It's also intriguing that Swan orbit has an inclination of only about 4.5 degrees to the ecliptic. That means it moves almost in the same plane as Earth. This is why some news outlets use the phrase potentially close. But astronomers stress the orbit is charted and there's no danger. Breaking down the headlines. Number one, Swan R2 is 100 times bigger than Atlas. Number, Atlas's nucleus is capped at around five to six kilometers. For Swan to be 100 times bigger, its nucleus would have to measure hundreds of kilometers. Such supercomets simply don't exist. Their mass and motion would make them impossible to miss. Number two, the comet will destroy the interstellar. Catchy but meaningless. Interstellar space is a vacuum stretching across light years. No comet can destroy it. Even a collision with Earth would be a localized planetary disaster, not the annihilation of interstellar space. Number three, they could collide with each other. Another internet legend, Atlas and Swan do not share the same location in space and time. The probability of two objects with such trajectories accidentally hitting each other in billions of kilometers of empty space is effectively zero. But to keep the story thrilling, let's imagine a wild scenario. What if Swan were truly a giant, hundreds of kilometers wide, and headed straight for Earth? A 100-kilometer-wide impactor would unleash energy beyond anything in geological history. For comparison, the Chicxulub asteroid, which wiped out the dinosaurs 66 million years ago, was only approximately 10 kilometers across. A super swan would strike with dozens of times more force, leaving a crater the size of a continent and triggering global climate collapse. But again, this is pure imagination. The real swan is far smaller and will pass safely by. Reality versus Myths Swan R2 a long-period comet discovered September 11th, 2025, with an orbital period of 22,500 years. It will pass perihelion at 0.5 astronomical units and approach Earth at 0.26 astronomical units. Absolutely no threat to our planet. 3i slash Atlas, an interstellar visitor, the third of its kind after Oumuamua and Borisov. Nucleus up to 5 to 6 kilometers, traveling at approximately 60 kilometers per second, but no closer than 1.8 astronomical units to Earth. No threat. Comparisons of size are misleading. Brightness does not equal nucleus size. Swan diameter remains unknown. Rumors of collisions, or 100 times bigger, are baseless. What these comets really offer is something else a reminder of the diversity of cosmic travelers. One is a visitor from beyond our star system, passing through just once. The other is a returning guest, making the rounds every 20,000 years. Instead of fear, they should spark wonder. The more we learn about them, the more we understand both the fragility of our world and the vast protective scale of the cosmos. In the end, 3i Atlas and Swan R2 are not harbingers of doom, but messengers of knowledge. They bring us closer to answering timeless questions. How planetary systems form, how matter travels between stars, and how rare our own safe corner of space truly is. Their fleeting presence reminds us that Earth is not isolated, but part of a much larger story unfolding across the galaxy. So the next time you hear about giant comets or cosmic collisions, remember that the reality is far more fascinating than the rumors. These icy wanderers are not destroyers, but storytellers, carrying in their frozen cores the history of places we may never visit and offering us a chance 
for a brief moment to look up and feel connected to the universe that shaped us.